Hi everyone, it's Rachel here at Cloudy Hands Crafts and today I'm showing you how to make a removable vertical belly band. You will need a strip of card in any width and the length needs to be long enough to hang over the top and the bottom of the page because this is where it's going to be folded over. Use the page as a guide for where you want the belly band to sit and then flip it to the other side of the page and fold the bottom up and the top flap down. Adding removable features like this can be useful when actually using the journal. For example, it can be inserted onto blank pages where pockets are needed, or it can be used to balance out the signatures where there's extra weight needed. Next, it's time to bridge the gap on the reverse side of the belly band. You can use this as an opportunity to get creative. Any width of card can be used as long as it's long enough to reach between the top and bottom flaps. I made the bottom flap into a little pocket by gluing three sides where the flap would overlap the pink card. I cut a notch in the top of the pocket using a circle punch to make it obvious that the pocket exists. The top flap can now be glued securely into place using plenty of glue. Weigh it down and then when it's completely dry it should be strong enough to remove. This will make it easier for you to decorate and you can do any kind of decoration that you please. I had this wide lacy trim which I thought was very pretty layered on the green card so I kept this side simple and left it at that. Just made sure that I trimmed it down and had it nice and neat at the edges. I find that art glitter glue is usually fine for adding thicker trims like this so I was just careful not to go overboard with the glue and you can't see it now that it's dry. On the other side I found a tag that fit nicely into the pocket and when it was in place I could see the other places that I wanted to see some decoration. I decided on this butterfly trim but I cut the ruffled ribbon off to make it less bulky. I only applied glue to the embroidered part of the trim and allowed the mesh to hang freely so that the glue didn't show through. I added some of this hairy wool, I'm sure it's got a better name than that, to the tag to create another layer of texture. I just doubled it over, threaded it through and then threaded it through its own loop. I kept the tag plain but you could always use a more decorative one to create more interest on the page if you wanted. When you've finished decorating you can slide your belly band back onto the page and see how it looks. Hopefully you'll have left enough room so that it's not too tight. The belly band can be used to hold all kinds of ephemera and photographs and the wider the band is, the larger the pieces it can tend to hold. So I'll just slip some extra pieces of paper which can be used anywhere else in the journal. And that's the end of today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you again on Friday for another video. Bye!